Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and where we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. Now, we recently did a, uh, what is it, a John Morant video on the channel, uh, what is it, two or three days ago. And to our surprise, Marco and I surprised, for those of you guys who don't know, Marco is the co-founder of Dreamers Pro here. Uh, we were surprised at the amount of people that watched that video, number one, and number two, and the reception that it got. And a lot of people left some comments like, yeah, man, we want some more John Moran, uh, you know, content. So we were, you know, we said to ourselves, well, then let's give it a, <laughs> let's give it another shot and let's make another one. And hopefully, uh, you know, people, uh, people enjoy this one. Now I have to admit, I wasn't one of the people a year, two years ago that felt that predicted, ah, John Moran is going to be one of the best players in the NBA. I never predicted that. I'm not going to sit up here and lie to you. I'm not going to play morning quarterback and say, ah, yeah, I never said it. I never saw it. Why? Because at the time we were just really getting into the sports. I mean, covering sports in the NBA, number one. Number two, I was, we were more focused on covering uh, players that were already established like LeBron, Kawhi, these guys, right? So I didn't have you know, enough bandwidth, so to speak, to pay attention to all of these guys. So I wasn't paying attention to John Moran. And I'm not going to come up here and start acting like, as if, yeah, I saw it coming. I didn't. And I'm not going to lie. Right. But uh, but just two years ago, I mean, just two years ago, a year, a year ago, th there was one person or just uh, j just a, number, a year ago. There was a person, a former employee at ESPN that did see this coming. Right. One person predicted at one point, John Moran may end up being the best player in the NBA and may uh, may uh, become the, uh, what is it, the regular season MVP of this league. And when he said it, I was like, what? I didn't, you know, I didn't make a, we didn't make a video about it, but I was really curious as to why he said that. And maybe one day, you know, maybe one day this year, probably we get Tracy McGrady on the show and invite him, invite him on the show and ask him to really explain what he saw in John Moran that many of us didn't see, including me. But when I say many of us, I'm talking about myself and really ask him, hey, <laughs> what did you see in this guy that made you, you know, say such a bold thing about him? And now it looks like it's coming to fruition. So before we go too far, before we actually get into the clip, some of you guys may be saying, Tracy McGrady, who is Tracy McGrady? For the younger viewers, Tracy McGrady, T Mac was a bad boy when he was playing, right? Tracy McGrady was a bad boy. This dude was a seven-time All-Star. He made two All-First NBA teams, three second, two thirds. So this guy basically made seven All-NBA teams. He led the league in scoring two times. He won the most improved player of the year. And let me give you, although if you look at Tracy McGrady's career averages, he averaged 19.6 points per game, 5.6 rebounds and 4.4 assists. That is because he got injured. He, I think he, he I think he had um, a bad knees at one point. But when Tracy McGrady was healthy, remember he got drafted by the Toronto Raptors and then he ultimately went to go play with the Orlando Magic. The first year after leaving the Raptors, when he went to go play with the Orlando Magic, he averaged 26.8 points per game, 45% for the field. Next season, 25.6. Next season, 32.1 points per game. Next season, 28 points. Next season, 25. If Tracy McGrady were healthy, he would be one of the top scorers of all time. Unfortunately, he just got injured, but he's still recognized in NBA circles. And I think he... I think he made it into the Hall of Fame, if I'm not mistaken, or he was one of the people that's going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. So Tracy McGrady is was a bad boy. If anybody watching basketball, watching this content, you know, watching this video, you know that Tracy McGrady was a hell of a player. And just a year ago, what is it? Just a year ago, back in January, it was two years ago, really, back in January uh, 2020, I want you guys to take a listen to some of the things that he had to say about John Morant. Take a listen to what Tracy McGrady had to say about John Morant. Take a listen. Mac, you love watching John Morant. You have Absolutely. you have been on him since he got into this league. How much do you think now that the Grizz are, you know, they're playing so well around him, are they propping him into this all-star category too? Well, well, first and foremost, shout out to the Grizzlies uh, front office for putting together such a uh, nice nucleus of talent that I think in the next, you know, two to five years is going to be mm -hmm. really, really uh, exciting to watch with Ja Brooks, mm -hmm. Jaron Jackson, those guys. I mean, they're, they are fun to watch right now, but given some more experience, uh, they're, they're going to be a problem in the Western Conference. Ja Morant, I'm saying this right now, he's going to be an MVP in this league. Whoa. He, no, he's going to be an MVP in this league, and he's going to be arguably the best player in the game. I am saying that. I'm going on the record to say wow. that right now. I mean, the kid, he's fearless, right? He's fearless. 
He had he's such a cerebral player mm -hmm. and he's although he can score but he loves being a facilitator yeah. and making the game easy for his teammates and that in a result these guys are playing great basketball right now six game winning streak are we talking I mean yeah the talent is extremely young and look what they're doing right now so I love what I'm seeing from Ja and the Memphis Grizzlies but Would you, you didn't put him in the, the all-star <laughs> I'm not going that far yet. okay all right Wait. <laughs> it, the West is deep right now. Well, it looks as if T-Mac was right all along. Because as we currently speak, forget the fact that the Grizzlies just beat the Golden State Warriors. And the Golden State Warriors have been struggling, right? They also lost to the Milwaukee Bucks yesterday. But forget the fact that the Grizzlies just beat them. The Grizzlies right now as we speak, who would have predicted that at this point in the NBA season, the Grizzlies would be the number three seed in the Western, who would have predicted that I didn't? I'm not gonna come up here and lie to you guys. I didn't. I didn't see them becoming a the number three seed this year in the Western Conference. As we speak, as a team, this team is this team is lethal. Listen to some of their team stats. They are number one. Think about this in rebounding. They are number three in scoring, scoring 112.1 points per game. They're number one in blocks per game. They're number one in steals per game. Now they're number 26 in free throw shooting, so that's not very good. That's at the bottom of the league. And they're number 19 in three-point shooting, so they're not one of these teams uh, that's going to dominate you from the three-point line. But they're number nine in assists. And for a young team like this to be able to move the ball, it means that they're a very intelligent team. They have a core of very smart guys to be able to move the ball and to be the number nine team in the NBA in, this, in assists. And they're the number ninth ranked defense in the entire NBA. And oh, by the way, they are being led by a 22-year-old phenom playing the point guard position in John Moran. Let me give you guys John Moran's stats uh, this season quickly, okay? This guy's averaging 24.6 points per game, which is five points higher than he did last season. Think about that leap. He's shooting 48.5% from the field, which is almost three percentage points higher than he did last year. He's shooting 36% from three, six percentage points higher, 77% from the free throw line. That's up 5%. He's getting you 4.5, no, 5.8 rebounds, almost two rebounds more than he did last season. 6.8 assists, which is close to what he averaged last year. Three, turn, turn, three turnovers, but, but one point three steals per game and this guy is only in his third year in the NBA and if you watch him play he plays with a lot of self-confidence which I love because self-confidence is everything you can be as talented as you want to be but if you don't have any self-confidence in yourself if you don't believe that you can go out there and actually do what you you know do you know perform at a high level you're not going to do it but this guy at this tender age, at this young age of 22, think about that. I'm 34. He's 22, right? He's out there playing with the best players in the world, and he's not even phased by any of it at all. So to me, Tracy McGrady was right on the money. He predicted it perfectly. I never saw it coming. But he did. So you got to give this guy's props. So what I want to know from you guys, what do you think about the comments that Tracy McGrady had to make about uh, John Morant? Do you think that this guy will ultimately become a, a league MVP and possibly become the best player in the, in the NBA in the future? What do you think about that? And number two, how far do you think this Memphis Grizzlies team can go this year being led by John Morant in the playoffs? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Again, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we drop our content. Once again, this is Charles here from Dreamers Pro. Wishing you guys an amazing day and catch you guys on the next episode. Peace.